In today's video, we'll be looking at how to solve simultaneous equations using the elimination method. If you are new to this channel, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified whenever we post new videos. Alright guys, so this is a problem that we want to look on today, alright? So we want to see how we can solve these simultaneous equations using the elimination method, alright? So, as always, I'm going to call the top equation, equation 1, and the bottom equation, equation 2, alright? And if you want to know how to solve simultaneous equations using the substitution method, I'll have a video of that in the description section below, alright? So you can check that out. Now, the first thing that we need before we can progress any further in solving this problem, we need either both x coefficients to be the same or both the y coefficients to be the same, all right? And looking at this thing here, we notice that what? The coefficient for x would have been 1. The coefficient for the x down here would have also been 1, all right? The coefficient for the y up here is positive 1 and the coefficient for this y down here would have been negative 1, all right? But the good thing is that both the x coefficients are the same, all right? So we can progress, all right? So what we are going to do is to simply subtract both equations from each other, all right? So we are going to simply subtract equation 2 from equation 1, all right? So let's see what, what will happen when we do that, all right? So we'll end up with x minus x, all right? That will give us a zero right here. And when we bring these two negative signs together, we'll end up with negative times negative y, that's a positive y, and y plus y will give us positive 2y is equal to, what will we end up with here? We'll end up with what? 3 minus 1, which is 2, all right? And we can now simply transpose this thing for y, all right? So this is the same thing as 2y is equal to 2. And what we can do now is to simply divide both sides by 2, all right? And 2 will cancel 2 here. We'll be left with y is equal to 1, all right? So 2 divided by 2, that's 1. Now what we are going to do is to substitute our y value, which is 1, in either equation 1 or equation 2 to obtain our x value, all right? So let's use equation 1, all right? You, of course, you could have used equation 2 as well, but let's just use equation 1, all right? And that's x plus y is equal to 3, all right? So remember, we would have obtained y to be 1. So here we don't know x as yet, so we have x plus. I'm going to replace the y with 1, all right? So remember, the value of y is 1. So I'm replacing y with 1 is equal to 3, all right? And here we know we can simply transpose this thing for x. So we'll have x plus 1, and to get rid of this positive 1 from over here, we are required to minus 1. And if we minus 1 on one side, we are required to do the same thing to the other side to keep the equation balanced, all right? So 1 minus 1, these two things pretty much cancel out. And we're left with x is equal to 3 minus 1, which is 2, all right? So therefore, we would have obtained our y value to be equal to 1 and our x value to be equal to 2, all right? And that's pretty much how you treat with solving simultaneous equations using the elimination method, all right? And of course, if you want me to do more complex problems, you can send those to the channel email that you're currently seeing on screen, all right? So this is where we'll be ending today's video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done it, all right? As always, thanks for watching.